throughout all of our lives, Ladies and gentlemen, these have been the most exciting words in rock and roll. The Rolling Stones! When choosing a set list for the Rolling Stones, there really aren't too many bad ideas, are there? I'm sure there are. I'm sure, well, let's just say that some ideas are better than others. You know, like, for instance, I think this opening number is kind of important. I mean, we, do, we did try sympathy for the devil in some cases, you know, and a lot of those shows in Europe were in the daylight, so I didn't like doing that number in the daylight opening. It didn't work, you know, so I dumped that. I mean, I think it works as an opener in the in the dark when you've got full lighting, you know, that really reads and a mood to, that's able to be created and everything. Um, so, you know, we've got all the kinds of factors to take into account when you're doing set lists. And, um, you know, it's something I'm kind of find interesting and, you know, it's part of the fascination of it. It's like, okay, so what are you going to do? So people, you know, lots of people want you to do different numbers, this number and that number. But, but then if you li- leave out certain numbers, people get, you know, a lot the majority of people come to a stadium show, they say, oh, they didn't play, you know, Hong Kong women or they didn't play this. <laughs> oh, you know. So it's it's like it's, it's a sort of function of how big. So if you play to 200 seat a club, you can sort of play anything more or less you want. Um, but the, if you play 50,000, you, you there's a certain element that, of people that come to a show like that that want to play certain favourites. And if, if you don't deliver those favourites, then they are, you know a certain percentage of those people will be disappointed they didn't get what they wanted. They thought they were going to get. So. You, it has to be a balance there, you know. 